Um, so it's a story a little bit about vectorization and an awful lot about compiler bug, right? So about uh, a year ago, I was tasked to improve, um, to vectorize a numerical kernel and the data structure has got this specific layout, which is like three floating point value or n or something small and repeated n one time, which is actually uh, might be hundreds of thousands. So three, 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 many, many, many times. And um, I didn't want, I would have get something such as a, a first vector A minus a vector B and everything is element wise. And I want to put the result inside res. And we are looping on all these three values, N2 here and N1 is very, very big one. And ideally, I would like the compiler to actually completely flatten and collapse these two loops so that they can vectorize. Um, so I wrote a micro benchmark on that very same code. And here are the results, right? So taking N2 equal three and N100,000, as we can see, none of this compiler, GCC or neither clone could actually vectorize uh, or collapse the loops. Uh, and they vectorize only the inner loops. If you use a uh, N equal three and you use AVX, you're losing actually a potential of vectorization. Um, so I had to find a solution for that. Um, so here comes OpenMP to the rescue. So um, you got this pragma, which is exactly what I needed, which is like collapse with two loops, right? So um, that looks exactly the perfect solution. So yeah, I went new benchmark and I tried and clong seven at the time, you can see do exactly the wrong thing. And the thing is 10 times slower. Uh, it turns out that the bug is fixed in clone eight. Meanwhile, GCC does have a bug. It does collapse the loops, but doesn't vectorize anything. Uh, there's actually a bug open, which is still not has been fixed. So there you go, I had no solution. Um, so I went now and one of my colleagues called Eamon Dodds um, suggested the following, say, okay, we're not going to modify all that complicated logic, which is very much more complicated than the actual code, but we are going to switch, exchange these two loops to a single loop that will go from N1 times N2, and we are going to reconstruct I1 and I2 using index divided by N2 and index modulo N2. And I'm relying completely here for the compiler doing at compile time to realize that this particular expression, I1 times N2 plus I1 is exactly index. So in other words, I would like at compile time, uh, the compiler to realize that particular identity. So there again, uh, we are back to the benchmark round. Um, and I tried and Clang does a perfect job. The GCC9 definitely did not. Um, the, the final code is much slower. So when you want to find out why things are slower, you go to Compiler Explorer. So I wrote this very small code with that very same formula. And if I use clong, clong 8 or 9 or 10 for that matter, you can see that indeed is recognized that the index and 2 is equal to index 1. So it does a perfect optimization. Then you can do exactly the same thing with Visual Studio 2017. And as you can see, then again, that it done the perfect optimization. And then comes GCC. At the time, GCC 8, but 9 has got the same issue. And as you can see, it was totally unable to do that transformation. The division and multiplications are still there. So there you go, end of the game. I need to find another solution. However, as a good citizen, I decided to open a bug report. So there you go. Uh, that was in February 2019. I put that very small snippet, exactly the same one I pasted it in, uh, in Goldbolt. And you say, well, GCC 8 does this job, which is correct, but not performant, whereas the other one does a much better job. And now that was the end of it, as far as I'm concerned. And here is what happened. Um, say, oh, yes, uh, Richard Binner, which is one of the main developers I read at on GCC, say, oh, we don't have a specific transform here. Uh, here is a patch. You got a five line, put in a compiler, rebuild in the compiler, and there you go. Now, here is an interesting one. Is you, um, I pasted it to that at um, the 27th of February 2019 at 11.41. And he actually replied at 11.54, right? So in 13 minutes, this guy managed to actually patch the compiler and give a production ready patch, which I find truly, truly amazing. So thank you so much. Uh, so as a check, you can see indeed, if you tag with GCC 10, uh, the bug is indeed fixed. The compiler, if you benchmark, you will find that it does the right thing. So um, we just on the previous lightning talk, we discover a, li um, a compiler bug. And my advice is to always report them, uh, open a bug report. In my experience, uh, they do get fixed. And um, I thank you very much, this compiler of people, but there's always such a wonderful job. Thank you very much.